MRI is magnetic resonance imaging. can be done of many parts of the body, and frankly, I guess almost all parts of the body. And in breast, it's typically done in a couple set of circumstances. One is when we know a patient has breast cancer and we want to see with the MRI if it's just confined to the area where we know the cancer is or are there are other areas of the breast involved. It also gives us more detailed information about the opposite breast. There's some controversy with MRI. There are people like myself who believe very strongly in MRI and then there are others who believe less so and that there's a great fear right now that perhaps MRI is having, causing patients to have more mastectomies. I'm in the camp that believes it gives us more information, and particularly in radiation therapy and other kinds of treatment, we want to know that we're dealing just with one area of involvement of the breast, and MRI can be most helpful to us. MRI can also begin to look at the lymph nodes in the axilla, uh, up here above the, the uh, collarbone and inside the chest to see if those lymph nodes are abnormally enlarged, which may then prompt us to do a um, uh, ultrasound or image-guided biopsy. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.